Okay, now we will create a second paddle. All we have to do for that is copy and paste what we had for the first paddle and change things a little bit so, so that it acts independently. This is what we had right now. We just have a simple paddle that we can use the W and S key to move. Now this is the left paddle and all I'm going to do is hit Command F on the Mac or Control F on Windows, search up Paddle X which is this and replace it with Paddle XR, I mean L which is left. You can name it whatever you want again. This is just so we can keep track of them. So there we go. And I'm going to do the same with Y, Paddle Y. Okay. Next I'm going to change the up. This, this is to check if we hit the key. But to use the second paddle, we will need to use different keys, therefore different variables. So I'm going to change this to up left. Find up and replace with up L. Replace all. Now you'll see that setup has also changed to setup L. Remove that or else it's going to show an error. Same with down, down, down L. And there we go. Check if it still works. If not, read the error messages. Mine still works, so it's all fine. Okay, so I saved that. Okay, so now we need to create the second set of variables. That is, we need to take make the right side. So I can just copy that, paste it, change that to R, that is right, change that to R. Again, right. Now, we won't be changing the dimensions of the width, height, and speed, so I will just remove all that, replace it with a semicolon, and I will also create up R and down R. Right now, if I play it, nothing will change, because they're just variables, they have no value, they have no use. Let me, may, let's change that, so paddle xr equals width minus 40 I'm lazy so I'll just copy that r again if I play it nothing will happen we just set a number we didn't use the number so oh, reading it line by line I'm going to change the circles won't change we only have the one ball we're not making two balls we're not touching those we're touching all of these so now we have two paddles so draw paddles of course you can keep the name but it just helps me so again I'll copy what we had before I'll change L with R and there we go now we can see the second paddle but we can't move it and it won't move it won't interact with the ball because all we did was display it let me change the color to uh, let me change the colors of the paddle so that it's more evident. So I'll make the left one green. This is R G B. That would create black. But I want green to be the value. So R full on green and blue. And the other one to be R G B. Take my word for it. Red and green make yellow. And now we have a green paddle and a yellow paddle. Everything still works. Moving down to move the paddle. I will copy the whole thing and change all the L's with R's in the new copy. Down R, R, R. Again, this won't do anything because we haven't actually used the variable up R yet. We will do that later. Let's keep moving down. Restrict paddle. This will keep it from going up the screen. So that is this. So I'm going to just copy and paste that. Again, change to R, R, R. Still the same thing. Contact with paddle. Now we are creating the contact with the other paddle. So as you may recall, all we have to do is flip the x, so x plus. So this will check the other side. 
we have to make sure to change this to R. R. That's it. And for the sake of efficiency, we can do it else if. So if this, otherwise this, not if this and then still if this. It saves it. It's for performance benefits. And I messed up somewhere. Uh huh. Here you go. Change that to R. That should be fine. Yep. If I. Let's see if it actually hits the yellow paddle. Oh, whatever. Let's keep moving down. The ball won't move. Change. The ball won't change. This is the ball. It won't change. This will change. I will copy and paste that. I will replace this with key code. I'm going to use the up and down arrow keys. And this one, key code. You need to use key code because it's not a lit literal key. We can't draw an arrow there. So we need to write key code. Down R. Same thing here. I'll copy this and paste it here. Change that to false. False. And I think now we should have a fully two fully functioning paddles. Thank you for watching. See you next video.